Are you tired of the same old okay? Well, get ready because we've got 45 mind-blowing words and expressions that you can use in your daily casual English conversations. And this video is different from any other YouTube lesson that you're going to come across because we are not going to discuss the mundane okay, sure, absolutely and all right. Instead, we have some epic vocabulary which sounds very modern and Gen Z. So buckle up for some language swag and let's get going. Hey, this is Chetna and you're on Chet Chat. And this content is also available on Spotify as a podcast on Skill Up with Chet Chat. Now the word OK is used in a few different contexts. So we're going to take them up one by one and find alternatives for each. So first, OK is used to agree with someone like, do you want to come with me? OK, nah. <laughs> How about you try saying this instead? You bet or bet. Example, want to try the new roller coaster? Bet I'm game. I'm ready to scream my lungs out. It's used to express agreement or confirmation. It's like saying I'm in or I'm ready. Example, hey, want to grab some pizza later? Bet I'm starving. <laughs> sure thing. Sure thing is semi-formal and I like using it. Example, want to come to the mall with me? Sure thing. What time do you want to go? Sure thing. For sure. For sure is short for for sure. It means definitely or without a doubt. Example, are you coming to the party tonight? For sure, wouldn't miss it. Or for sure, dude, let's grab some pizza and chillax today. Defo. Defo is short for definitely. When you want to sort of wholeheartedly agree with something, you can say, Defo, count me in for that group study plan. Or did you like the movie? Defo, it was so good. Okie dokie. Okie dokie is playful and an informal expression and it's a rhyming variation of the word okay. Okie dokie, let's plan that road trip. It sounds very cute and I especially like the Simpsons version of it. Okie dokie. So you can say okie dokie or okie dokie. So, okay, I'm just like putting a disclaimer here. Okay, these expressions are certainly going to make you sound very cool in your friend circle. But be a little careful when you're using them in formal written English communication. Okay, I'm game. I'm all for it. Example, beach volleyball anyone? I'm game. Time to show off my killer serves. I'm game or I'm all for it. Or anyone for an after dinner drive to the lake? Yeah, I'm game, sounds cool, or I'm all for it. Obvi. Obvi is short for obviously. Obvi. Sometimes you want to say yes, and it is quite obvious that the answer will be yes. You can say, Obvi, she is going to win the election. Everyone loves her. Or, Obvi, I need an umbrella. It's pouring outside. Hundo P, short for 100%. And it means completely or without a doubt. Example, did you enjoy the movie? Hundo P, it was awesome. Or simply, I'm Hundo P on board for that epic adventure. Let's go explore and live our best lives. Hundo P, or you could just say 100%. Count me in or sign me up. You can use this one in semi-formal situations. Let's take an example. Movie night with endless snacks and cozy blankets? Sign me up or count me in. Or, hey, there's a new sushi place opening downtown. Are you interested? Absolutely. Count me in for some fresh sushi rolls. By the way, I love sushi. Any sushi lovers in the audience? Show me some love. Yes. Yes is different from yes. It's like yes. Example, I found an extra ticket to the concert. Do you want to come with me? To which you can say, yes, I'm a huge fan of that band. I wouldn't miss it for anything in the world. My thoughts exactly. You can use this in formal situations. Let's say your sibling says to you, I wish we could just stay home and binge watch our favorite show. You say, my thoughts exactly. Let's cancel all plans and have a cozy night in. I'll get the popcorn ready. My thoughts exactly. 
Quick shout out before we move to the next set of words. This week the shout out goes to Passionate People 7868. <laughs> Thank you for being so passionate about learning. And if you want a shout out, you know what to do. You've got to leave me a message with a hashtag Chet Chatters. The second context where OK is used is to give permission. Example, we tend to say, OK, you can do that. Now, try using these expressions instead. No problemo. That's a sweet and friendly way to say no problem. No problemo. Hey, can I borrow your car for a quick errand? No problemo. Take the car and make sure you bring it back with a full tank. <laughs> Sometimes, when I really like the person, I skip the R and I say, no problemo. It sounds very endearing. Totes. Totes is a casual short form for totally. Can I have a bite of your ice cream? Totes. Help yourself. Or, did you enjoy the movie last night? Oh, totes. It was hilarious from start to finish. Go ahead. Go for it. This is like saying, go forward with your plans. Example. I have an idea for a new project. Can I run it by you? Go ahead. I'm all ears. This is formal and you can actually use this in business settings. By the way, if you want to know the meaning of advanced phrases like I'm all ears, then I've recently done a lesson on that and I'm going to share a link with you. Dive in. Take the plunge. This one is semi-formal and it's like saying jump right in. I've been thinking about doing my own startup. You? Dive in, follow your dreams and take the plunge. I believe in you. It's all yours. The stage is yours. This once again can be used in formal, semi-formal situations. Let's say the teacher says, who wants to present first? You tell your friends. It's all yours. The stage is yours to shine. Knock their socks off with your amazing presentation. Knock their socks off, by the way, is another great phrase to use. And if you know what that means, then leave me a comment below. Permission granted. Let's say your friend says, can I borrow your guitar for the weekend? You say, permission granted, captain. Take good care of it and rock on. Adding the captain makes it a little cheeky and interesting. Now, my dear students, if you're finding this content useful, then I want you to press that like button. And don't forget to comment below with your favorite words out of this mega list of 45. Now, the third type of context in which we tend to use the word OK is to ask for permission. For example, is it OK for me to do this? So let's try using these wowtastic expressions instead. Mind if I do? This one is often used in a light-hearted or a humorous context. Wow, those brownies look amazing. Mind if I do? It's different from mind if I take some cookies. This one is mind if I do. Notice that they're not actually doing anything. But mind if I do, it's like, it's like a casual and friendly way to ask permission to join into an activity. And by the way, I just got hungry talking about brownies. Yummy. Is it cool if I? I saw your book collection. Is it cool if I borrow one? Is it cool if I adds a touch of modernity and liveliness to the dialogue? It kind of makes it more engaging and fun. I found this great hiking trail nearby. Is it cool if I borrow your hiking boots? Would it be lit if I? Example, I'm thinking of throwing a beach party this weekend. Would it be lit if I invited everyone? Would it be lit if I? Lit is in the Urban Dictionary means that something is really good, intense, fun or exciting. Can I flex that? Flex in this context means to show off something. Like you have a possession and you have an achievement or you have a skill and you want to show off. Like example, when you're building your muscles, sometimes don't you kind of flex your muscles to show off to your friends? Same way. Can I flex that? is like requesting permission to showcase something in a proud or boastful manner. Example, I prepared a delicious meal. Can I flex that? Can I swipe right on that? Now you're expressing interest or approval in something or someone based on the popular swiping gesture on dating apps, where when you swipe right, you're showing interest. Example, you cooked an amazing meal. Can I swipe right on that? 
or I just saw your new haircut and it looks fantastic. Can I swipe right on that? Do I have a green light? This one is just like the green traffic signal. Do I have the green light means can I go? Example, I finished my part of the project. Do I have the green light to submit it? Or I want to invite some friends over. Do I have the green light to host a small gathering? Now you can always say, is it green lit? So do I have the green light or is it green lit? Am I good to go? The cab has arrived. Are we good to go? Or I've reviewed my notes for the exam. Am I good to go? Or if someone asks you, is everything ready? Shall we proceed to the next step? You can say, yeah, we're good to go. Can we roll with it? Example. Um, I have a suggestion to make for an event uh, to make it more engaging. Can we roll with it? Can we roll with it means can we go ahead? I have an idea for a team project. Can we roll with it? Am I cleared for takeoff? This is pilot lingo like Roger that or copy that. Am I cleared for takeoff? Do I have the permission to start something? Example, I've prepared my presentation. Am I cleared for takeoff? Can I snag that? The word snag means to grab, to capture or to obtain something quickly. It's kind of often used in casual conversations to ask if you can have something or you can borrow something. Example, those concert tickets sold out so fast. Can I snag one if you have an extra? Or I love your playlist. Can I snag that song for my own collection? Now, the fourth context in which we use the word OK is to say it's average. It's not great. It's just OK. Passable. Passable comes from the word pass, meaning this will pass. It's average. It's not great or outstanding, but it's adequate. Literally, when we say it's OK ish, this is what we mean. Example, her singing skills are passable. She can carry a tune, but well, she's not a professional singer. It's chill. Chill is really common and used a lot. It's chill means it's relaxed and calm and there's nothing to stress about. We can take our time. It's chill. There's no need to rush. Or I asked my boss if I could leave early and he was like, yeah, it's chill. Middle of the road. Now imagine that there's a road and it's divided into multiple lanes. Now, when you're in the middle, middle lane, it's kind of a neutral or moderate position. You're neither going too fast nor too slow. In a figurative sense, middle of the road refers to something that is average, moderate or lacking extremes. Example, their ideas were middle of the road, conforming to the majority, but not really revolutionary. <laughs> Meh, it'll do. Meh has a Yiddish origin and it means meh, like indifference or lack of enthusiasm. It'll do implies that something is acceptable, uh, sufficient, but not exceptional or outstanding. Example, her response to the proposal was lukewarm at best, a meh, it'll do kind of reaction. Now five, we sometimes use okay to say it's good. This is not very common, but some of my students look for words to use when they are enthusiastic about something. Almost like saying, it's good. So I'm going to give you some words in that context as well. It's Gucci. It's Gucci, derived from the brand name. It means good, great or all good. Example, hey, can you finish the report by tomorrow? Gucci, I'll get it done. Or my sister is so Gucci, she gave me the new PS5. It's fire or it's on fire. This one is used to describe something which is exceptional or impressive or high quality. Example, have you tried the new restaurant downtown? Their pizza is fire. Or she posted a picture on Instagram and her outfit is fire. I love her style. You can say it's fire or it's on fire. It's solid, solid. It's commonly used to indicate when something is good, reliable, trustworthy. I just tried this new restaurant and their food is solid. You should definitely check it out or therefore check it out. <laughs> I've been using this phone for a while and I have to say it's solid, no issues at all. 
it's legit legit is a slang derived from the word legitimate and we use it to say that something is authentic genuine or true for example i just tasted this homemade cake and it's legit it's the best i've ever had it's dope dope is slang for something that's cool excellent or impressive i just heard their latest album and it's dope the beats and lyrics are stupendous on point on point is used for something that is accurate precise or well executed you can use this in formal situations the presentation was on point or her fashion sense is always on point she knows how to put together stylish outfits on fleek on fleek is used for something that's perfect it's flawless it's looking really good example your makeup is on fleek today it suits you so well or the decorations for the party are on fleek it's going to be a visually stunning event okay in the last context okay can be used to talk about yourself i'm okay how are you doing i'm okay but let's try these interesting words instead i'm vibing it's like saying i'm having a good time i'm enjoying the moment i'm being in a positive state in sync with the surrounding the vibe is matching i love this music i'm totally vibing with it or we're just hanging out listening to music and vibing i'm in my element this traces back to the belief that individuals have like an innate connection with a particular natural element like earth air fire or water i'm in my element is like saying i'm in an ideal situation or i feel my best when i'm teaching you english i'm in my element i'm living my best life now i'm traveling trying new things and living my best life Ooh, travel indeed is the best life, isn't it? I'm slaying. I would use slaying to talk of someone who's performing exceptionally well or maybe they're achieving their goals with style and flair. Example. How are you doing? I nailed that presentation at work today. I'm slaying it. Or her dance moves are incredible. She definitely is slaying the dance floor. Notice that nail that presentation was another cool phrase to use. I'm killing it. Work is going great. I'm killing it. Well, we're not literally killing anything or we're not killing anyone. But this one is often used when you want to talk about extreme confidence, success or like exceptional performance in any area. Example, I aced my exam yesterday. I studied hard and I'm killing it. I'm on cloud 9. Cloud 9 is the cumulonimbus cloud which is higher than most other clouds. So being on cloud 9 literally means to be in a state of extreme happiness, joy or you know elation. Got a promotion at work so I'm on cloud 9. I'm on top of the world. Once again a phrase that's used to convey a feeling of great happiness, success or accomplishment. and it's coupled with a feeling of position of power or achievement everything is falling into place i'm on top of the world so there it is 45 fabulous words and expressions to use instead of the boring okay and i hope you found them useful and do remember to share this with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more such content and happy learning